I spoke at a college last week on personal branding and what I thought was so interesting were the questions that were asked. Here's a couple of things that I think will help you if you are struggling right now, whether you're in college or maybe you're 52 and you're trying to figure out what your passion is. See, I used to really not know what to do with my life. I used to struggle so much. Even when I was a casting director, I was like, there's something more, but what? I don't have any other skills. Um, what I really wanted to do was actually too embarrassing to say out loud. And I think that that's actually so many of us. It's like if we could really just strip the fear of judgment or what other people are going to think about us, we start to kind of realize like, oh, what we really want to do is maybe be a creator or a beauty influencer or a vlogger or an exercise coach or I don't know, a dog trainer. I always think, ask yourself what you wanted to do when you were seven. At seven years old, I was walking around with a tape recorder, like an old school tape recorder, and I would record myself talking. My name is Donna, so my show was called The Donna Diamond Show, and I would walk around either talking to myself or talking to other other people in my family. I would ask them questions. I would talk about like what was going on in the world. Literally, I had a podcast at seven years old, but had no idea. Cut to, I'm 41 years old. I have two podcasts, show up on video, and then my baby, Daily Dose of Donna, which is the, my obsession, because it's exactly what I was doing when I was seven. It's me walking around and talking, walking around. I mean, I mean, I'm not, I'm just standing right there, but I'm talking into a microphone and I'm going live every single day. And I'm talking about one pop culture topic, one thing that's interesting or two things. It's a 10, 15 minute episode. And this podcast has surpassed more downloads in these 30 episodes than any other of my shows ever did in the same time frame, Because when you find something that you're super excited about, it's less about being passionate about it, it's about being curious. What is it that you wanna do when no one is looking? What is it that you're obsessed with following on Instagram or on TikTok or on Twitter or documentaries? Like if there was no judgment or no fear of losing or no worries about money or no worries that your parents won't talk to you, like what is it that is your dream? Like when you close your eyes and think about it, what is that one thing that you want to be recognized for, but you know, it just seems so scary to start. So that's my suggestion. And if it means creating content about, you know, creating clothes for cats, you got to do it. You just got to do it.